Hey guys, this is Artie Techie and I hope you're on a fantastic day. Today's video is how to get your bot to have a custom name by using Stream Elements. Now I am sure this is also possible with Stream Labs. I do have Stream Labs chatbot. I just connected to this one. Uh, so I do think it's possible, but I use Stream Elements primarily uh, because of uh, many reasons and um, I'll make a video about that later but what I am doing today is just to show you how to do it I know a lot of my friends who are streamers didn't know how to do it it's very simple you go ahead and you click these three things now this is the activity feed this should be there automatically now if it's not just go ahead and click those uh, you could go to the uh, I believe the windows um, we just go find it. yeah in stream elements you just gotta go and take this activity feed so if, if you don't have it just do that you have these three lines click the three lines and it'll show you your account okay so now you what you need to do is go click stream settings I'll give you blah blah show view account that's up to you have a custom bot name so now you click that it says custom bot name so it's, you know, I can change it to already techie, change it to stream elements, the stream elements is the default. Now I can also change it to something else. Now I have a bot account. It's, it's just an account I've made on Twitch with the name of the bot I want to use. So I'm going to connect it to that account. So I'm going to do click to custom. It's going to open up a, a Twitch login page. And uh, what I'm going to type in here is my bot. name which is mechanoid Brighton and the password now when you do that it'll say log in we're making sure you're not a bot I'll send you an email that okay. maybe I mistyped it yeah mistyped the password okay so when you do that, it'll send you an email with the account, the email you made. So I'm not going to go through and just open up an email, go in and dig it out. But I have it on my phone here. So I'm just going to quickly open it up and type in the verification code. And that will do the thingy. And I'll ask for permission. I'm just going to click authorize because, I mean, we trust stream elements, don't we? And that's that. And then you make sure this is changed to Mechanoid Crichton and you click save. And of course, if you want, um, you can also do a um, test uh, with it. You can send a test message to see if it actually works. So we're going to do just write that. All right. So we have a browser. I'm going to go to our uh, twitch.tv slash rdtechie. I don't, I don't think I'm hosting anybody today right now. I am. Oh, Ravel's online. Okay, so I'm just going to pause Ravel. I'm going to send a test message. Ravel regular guys, amazing streamer. Go check him out. Don't ever uh, doubt it if you play Red Dead Online. Fantastic streamer. So I'm just going to send this test message. There you go. Well, that's it. It's one of the very easy thing to do to get your uh, stream elements to have a custom bot thing. And I personally think it's something everyone should do because it just gives you another uh, aspect of creativity. And uh, yeah, I think it's it's fantastic and you guys should definitely do it. And I use stream ch uh, labs chatbot and I connect it to the same account. So I do assume that stream labs, the basic default uh, recorder the software will OBS Streamlabs OBS will also have this option I will check it out later and I am gonna do a comparison video as well as a um, video on setting up Streamlabs as a Streamlabs noob but that's to come later thank you all for watching I love your faces this is RD Techie have a fantastic day I will see you later